Often in life, we don't take time to acknowledge the little things. Though, for Western Illinois University student Megan Riley, noticing the little things is a passion. However, from Megan's point of view, not all of the little things in the world should be admired. Megan is currently working on an independent study art project. This project focuses on the current global plastic crisis. I'm calling it the Little Things Project, where I'm using toothbrushes to create a bigger toothbrush to represent how the little things that we use every single day build up to create the bigger picture. So it started out, I took a sculpture class and we just had to make a sculpture using wood. And so I um, played with some ideas and I ended up making a jellyfish using driftwood and plastic bags. And that kind of um, made me see like how much plastic we really do use in our everyday life. Megan says that it takes over 400 years for a plastic toothbrush to decompose. She suggests that you switch to biodegradable alternatives such as toothbrushes made from bamboo. By using like the single-use products or um, products that you buy with the intent to throw away, that just all builds up. So I focused on toothbrushes for this main one just because it's something that people use every single day and they don't really think about it. Like it's the first thing that you touch and the last thing that you use every single day. Megan says that she doesn't plan to stop after the toothbrush project. She plans to make a giant battery out of aluminum cans and a giant mechanical pencil out of smaller ones. Reporting for News 3, I'm Marcellus Angel. Come with me, if you dare, as we approach the Mad Bath Bomber's lair. Though there really is no need to fear, because this mad scientist is pleased to greet you. Me, Gavin Douglas, a fifth grader who has started a business that's making a splash in Macomb. So, how it got started, on one Christmas day, I got this kit that was like, make your own bath bomb kit. And I liked it, and, and I just made bath bombs until I was like, on the last batch. And it was like, oh, I can make it, I can make a company out here. Running your own business isn't easy for have... a kid Gavin's age. Ah, feels weird. He has his mom, Angela, to give him a hand. We're, we're pretty much um, mad scientist partners. We make our bath bombs together. Oh, people always really think it's really cool because they've seen bath bombs, of course. You can go to about any store and find bath bombs, but there's not too many people that are making them in, you know, special shapes like this. And also hand painting ones that are almost, some people have said that they're too nice to use. That to purchase one of the Mad Bath Bomber's creations, you can find his page on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Chill. The fall season has arrived. With it, the wind has gotten stronger. The days are getting noticeably shorter. And a visible change is happening at Argyle Lake State Park in Colchester. Nature is adjusting to prepare for the cold winter months. To see this change, I visited the park on a Saturday morning to participate in the Fall Colors Nature Hike. This hike was a self-guided tour. You are handed a map and informational packet from the Park Visitor Center telling you what you should look for. Greeting us at the Park Visitor Center was Robert. Robert is not the normal tour guide, but was here as part of a Senior Citizen Work Opportunity Program. I have not been on the trail myself. I've only been out here a short period of time, but I hear it's very entertaining and educational. During the hike, the changing colors could be seen all over. Leaves were falling from trees, and a variety of birds could be heard taking vacancy in the peaceful forest. WIU student Megan Call lit the way as we explored. Megan says that this hike was a great way to unplug and take in nature. I thought it was going to be a lot colder than it was, but it actually turned out to be a really nice day for it. Um, I like the fact that we could sort of go at our own pace and stop and go whenever we felt comfortable. The park suggests that you not only take in the beauty of the seasonal change, but also suggests you collect leaves from various trees and try to identify them. After your hike, you can stop and see the sun glisten upon Argyle Lake. And don't worry, 
If you miss the weekend nature walk, you don't have to fall into sadness. The tour is self-guided, and you can just go to the park's visitor center and pick up a pamphlet and take the tour whenever you're comfortable. For News 3, I'm Marcellus Angel.